I plan on doing this story a few months down the road, but with the news of Mark Lanigan passing yesterday, I thought this would be a really cool story to share this week. This story combines the only good thing to come out of CNN, at least in my opinion, and that was Anthony Bourdain's Parts Unknown, which was a travel and food show, and it combines Mark Lanigan. You guys may not know this, but Anthony Bourdain's Parts Unknown theme song was co-written by Lanigan and Josh Homme of Queens of the Stone Age, and today we're going to talk about how this collaboration happened, and the time Mark Lanigan appeared on the program. Throughout his career, Anthony Bourdain would work as a chef in New York City. He was a best-selling author and hosted several travel and food shows, with his final being CNN's Parts Unknown. He would reveal he first met Queens of the Stone Age while he was in Berlin shooting an episode for one of his TV shows, when he was informed that the band was also in town for a gig, and that they were huge fans of his program and invited him backstage to their show. Bourdain would reveal that years later, the band flew out and taped an episode of his show singing Christmas Carol while wearing ugly Christmas sweaters. This happened around 2007 for a TV special he did. By this point, Mark Lanigan, who started in the Screaming Trees in the mid-80s before they broke up in 2000, would join Queens of the Stone Age, but he had left the group by 2005, so him and Bourdain hadn't yet met. Lanigan, for his part, already knew about Anthony Bourdain from his best-selling book Kitchen Confidential and was a fan of his earlier travel show No Reservations. Then in 2013, Bourdain would join CNN to do what would be his last show, Parts Unknown, and he would reach out to Josh Homme to write the theme song, and it was at that point that Homme brought Lanigan to help him with the track. Bourdain would be introduced to Lanigan through Homme, and soon the TV host became a massive fan of Lanigan and became a big supporter of his. In 2018, while filming the show Parts Unknown, Bourdain would pass away, and it would be Mark Lanigan who would write his obituary in The Observer, and he highlighted his time dealing with Bourdain on the theme song for Parts Unknown, saying, The first time we had contact was over the phone. He was so warm and so funny. And he was describing the general vibe of what he wanted. Mark, I wanted to be like Joey Ramone doing What a Wonderful World. I was already writing it in my head. I thought it would be a really difficult thing to do, but because of Tony, it was easy, he'd say. Over the next three years, Lanigan and Bourdain would form a friendship, mostly over email, as they hadn't yet met in person. Lanigan would add in his write-up, he was always traveling making his shows, and I was traveling with music. He became a great mentor to me, and a champion of my work. Lanigan, who wrote several books throughout his career, would pen his first in 2017, I Am The Wolf, Lyrics and Writings, and Lanigan would admit in the obituary that he was unsure about taking on such a project, as writing a book was foreign to him. But it was Bourdain who encouraged him and gave him feedback on the project. During the Seattle episode of Parts Unknown that aired in Season 10 in 2017, Lanigan would appear towards the end of the episode, eating a meal with Bourdain at a bar. It would be the first time the pair would actually meet. Lanigan would look back at that meeting in the obituary writing, recording that was the first time we met. And there's this final shot of him referring to Anthony sitting at the bar listening to one of my songs. In retrospect, you can see the pain written all over his face. It never occurred to me that somebody like him could be unhappy. He would add, Tony was a light, a really important voice for the positivity of exploring different cultures all over the world. He's somebody we really need now. We need more people like Tony. He made the world a better place. That does it for today's video, guys. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like button and subscribe. We'll see you again on Rock and Roll True Story Sticker.